Oh, tell me all about Anna Livia. I want to hear all about Anna Livia. Well, you know, Anna Livia. Yes, of course, we all know Anna Livia. Tell me all. Tell me now. You'll die when you hear. Well, you know, when the old Cheb went foot and did what, you know. Yes, I know, go on, wash. Quit and don't be dabbling. Tuck up your sleeves and loosen your talk tapes. And don't but me. Hike when you bend or whatever it is. Was it three to make out? He thrived to two in the fiendish park. He's an awful old rep. Look at the shirt of him. Look at the dirt of it. He has all my water black on me. And it's steeping and stooping since this time last week. How many goes is it, I wonder, I washed it. I know by heart the places he likes to sail. Dear, dirty devil, scorching my hand and starving my famine to make his private linen public. Wallop it well with your bottle and clean it. My wrists are rusty rubbing the mould all stains. And the Dnieper's of wet and the gangrees of sin in it. What was it he did a tale on at all? On animal sendai? And how long was he under Loch and Nirach? It was put in the news as what he did. Nices and prayers. The king fiercias Humphreys with Illis's distilling exploits and all. But Tom's will till, I know he well. Temp untamed will hist for no man. And you spring, so shall you deep. O oh, rufty old rap, minxing marriage and making loof. Reef gooch was right and reef drugad was sinistrous. And the cut of him, and the strut of him, how he used to hold his head as high as a howarth, the famous El Duke, alien, with a hump of grand on him like a walking weasel rat, and his derry's own drawl, and his cock's own blather, and his doubling stutter, and his gulloway swank. Ask Lictor Hackett, or Lector Reed, of Garda Growly, or the boy with the billy club. How else is he called at all? Capel, huge caput, early fowler. Or where was he born, or how was he found? Urgothland, to this town on the Catacat. New Huntshire, Concord on the Merrymake. Who blocks with her soft anvil, or yelled lep to her pale? Was her bands never loosened in Adam and Eve's? Or were him and her but Captain Spliced? For man I the duck, I the drake, and by my wild gaze, I the gander. Flowery and mount on the brink of time makes wishes and fears for a happy isthmus. She can show all her lines with love, license to play, and if they don't remarry that hook, or oh, I may, O oh, pass more, that and oxus another, don dom dom dom, and his wee folio, was his help insured in the stalk and pelican against bunglers, flu, and third risk parties. I heard he dug good tin with his doll, delved first and doved in after, when he raped her home. Sabrina Thor in a parakeet's cage by dredgerous lands and devious delts, playing catched and missed with the gleam of a shudder. If a flick had been there to pop up and pepper him past all bins, mans and mazins, all through 
and the rest of the incurables and the last of the immurables, the quaggy wag, for stumbling. Who sold you that jack-o'-lantern's tail? Pemmican's pasty pie. Not a grass hoop to wring her, not an ant's grain of law. In a gabbard he barked it, the boat of life, from the harbourless Ivernican Oakian, till he spied the loom of his landfall. And he loosed two crocus from under his tilt, the grand Phoenician rover. By the smell of her kelp they made the pigeon house, like fun they did. And where was himself the timonier, that marching man? He sweaved their scutties right over the wash, his camelier's burnhouse breezing up on him, till with his runnergate's bone priss he rode and borster bar, built Camayo, such caught a one, and the whales away with the grailing, tune your pipes and fall a howing, you born Egypt, and you're nothing short of one. Well, tell me, soon on curb your Eskimo, when they saw him shoot swift up, her sheba sheathed like any gay lord Solomon, her bulls they were roaring surfed with spree, Bayorka bush, Bayona blue. He earned his little bunbas hard. How staley bred the trader he did. Look at here, in this wet of his brow. Don't you know he was cult a bairn of the brine? Was a born the water baby? Have a Maria, so he was. Eight C.E. has his cod fisk E. Shire, she's nearly as bad her as him Seb herself. Who? And Olivia? Aye, ah, and Olivia. Do you know she was calling back yandit sals from all around the Ambono? Chamba Choo, to go in till him, his erring chief, and tickle the pontiff, Izy Oisy, she was, got a pot. Is sell that the limit? As El Negro winced when he was once in La Palate. Oh, tell me all I want to hear. How loft she was, lift the laddery dextro. A coney wink after the burnt tank fell. Sina Visa. Letting on, she didn't care. May absanta him man in Pasha Deshon. The proxenita, proxenita. And what is that? Emmy for you, Rezuzika. Hondu Jacon. Tell us in Franca Langua, and call a spate to spate. Did they ever share you, Ebro, at Skull? You anti-obesitarian? It's just the same as if I was to go, par exemple, now in Conservancy's cause, out of telekinesis and proxy to you. For Coxit's sake, and is that what she is? But little. I thought she'd act that lower. Didn't you spot her in a wind dog, wobbling up on an osiri chair, with her music before her, or cuneiform letters, pretending to ribble a reedy dirg on a fiddle? She bogans with a band on, sure she can't fiddled a d with bow or abandon. Sure she can't, tis the sook. Well, I never now heard the like of that. Tell me, mother, tell me, moats. Well. Old Humba was as gloaming as Grampus with the tears at his thaw, and the boobos for ages are neither bowmen nor shot abroad, and bales all brunt on the crests of rockies. And never lamp in kitchen nor churches and giant holes in Grafton's causeway, and death camp, mushrooms round fungless grave, and the great tribunes bow all Donald's ocumule. Sitang Sambra on his set, Draman and Droman, uskin queasy quizzes of his rueful countenance, his child linen scarf. To encourage his obsequies, where he checked 
clear depths in the Bormon's Thames, bequesting and handsettle. Hop, step, and a deep end with his burst in their toiling boils, his swallower open from swolf to fall, and the snipes of his gutter pocking his crocks, hunger striking all questing and hand settle. Hop, step, and the deep end with his burst in their toiling boil, his swallower open from swolf to fall, and the snipes of the gutter pecking his crocks, hunger striking all alone, holding doomstag over hunsily. Drearing his weird with his dander up and his fringe combed over his eyes, and droning on loft till the sight of the sterns, after swarthy cows, and weedy brooks, and the tits of buddy, and the loits of pest, and the pier was parish with that mess. You'd think all was dodo belonging to him, how he dermed a drance in Jewett's vale. He had been belching for seven years, and there she was, all in Olivia. She daren't catch a winkle of sleep, purling around like a chit of a child, when a wonder a finger thick, in a lap summer skirt, and dammers and cheeks, for to Isham Bonzua to a dear dubber dan, with new freighties and salt from his magiers, and an old time, She'd cook him up blooms of visk, and lay to his heart's foot her meadowy args, yais and stainish beacons on toques, and a cup and have, so wishy washy of Greenland's tay, or oh, a zoop can of kafu moi cow or sable, or sicky and sukri, or his ale of ferns in truant pewter. And a shink of bread, hain jambo bana, for to play that man hog stay his stomacher, till her pirakees shrunk to nutmeg graters, while her toggle joint shook with goit, and as rash as she'd rush with her peckload of vivers up on a sieve. Meet her where a rage it swells and rises, my harley heck heck, he cast them from him. With a stool of scorn, as much as to say, you saw when you saws, and if he didn't peg the plateau on her tow, believe you me, she was safe enough. And then she'd ask to vistula him, the heart bowed down, or the rakes of mallow or jelly michels, lacumniae, eun vermicelli, or a balfy bit of old Joe Robinson. Sucho fluffing and fifing, twould cut you in two. She'd bait the hen that crowed on the towers of Babel. What harm if she knew how to cockle her mouth, and not a mag out of hum, no more than out of the mangle weight. Is that a faith? That's the fact. Then riding the vicar and royal romancia, and nonna, geboren aristocrat, nivea doctor of sense and art. With sparks, pure fricathums, funkling her fan, and a frostifying trespass. Dashed with fireflies, while the prom beauties shrieked dith their bearer's skins in a period gown of changeable jade that would robe the wood of two cardinals' chairs and crush poor Cullen and smother McCabe. Oh, blaze skate! There's pauper patches, and brahmy to him down the feed chute, with a femi fixed kinds of fondling endings, the pusta rambling of her nose, Vuggy Barney, Wicker Mandy, Hello Ducky, please don't die. Do you know what she started cheeping after, with a choicey voicey like water clucks, or Madame Delba? To Romeo esque, you'll never guess. Tell me, tell me, Phoebe, dearest, tell me, oh, tell me, and I loved you better nor you knew. And letting on hoon far daft about the warbly sangs from over. Hall of men, high hell skirt, saw ladies hen smoker, lily hung pigger, and so and so and so forth, and so forth, 
in a town stenora at um bolus below, like berry berry in his sandy cloak. So um volosi, as deaf as a yawn, the stult, go away, poor deaf, poor dear, old dearie, ye yeah, are only teasing and I live. As chalk is my judge, and didn't she up in the sorgs and go and trot down and stand in a duo, puffing her old duddine, and every servant, silly girl or winsome, farmerette, walking the piling road, sorry, fundally, dairy or merry, mill you cure away a grow, used to she make her a simple sign. To slip inside by the sully pot. You don't say the silly post? Bedu, but I do. Calling them in one by one. To block Bedum here. Here the shoe becaddled ye. And logging a jig or so on the shill to show them how to shake their benders and the dainty how to bring to mind the gladdest garments out of sight and all the way of a maid with a man and making a sort of a cackling noise like two and a penny or half a crown, and holding up a silver shiner. Lordy, lordy, did she show. Well, of all the ones ever I heard, throwing all the knees, little whores, in the world at him, to any captured wince, you wish of no matter what sex of pleaseful ways, to add a tamar, a lizzie, a lossy, to hug and hab haven, in Humpy's apron. And what was the weary wimmer she made? Odette, Odette, tell me the trend of it while I'm lathering hair out of Denny's Florence, McCarthy's combies. Rise it, flute you, pian piana. I'm dying down of my iodine feet until I learn Anna Olivia's gushing loo that was writ by one and read by two and proved by a pool in the parko. I can see that I see you are. How does it tumble? Listen now, are you listening? Yes, yes, indeed I am. Tanya, our house. A son of inner. By earth end the cloudy, but I badly went a brand new bankside. Be damp and I do, and a plumper at that. For the putty affair. I have his war out, so it is, sitting, yaping, and waiting for my old Dane horror dodderer, my life in death companion, my frugal key of our larder, my much altered camel's hump, my joint spoiler, my May moon's honey, my fool to the last December to wake himself out of his winter. Doze and bore me down like he used to. Is there a uh, well a lord of the manor or a knight of the shire at strike? I wonder that dip me a day or two in cash for washing and darning is worsable. Socks for him now were run out of horse bros and milk. Only for my short Britas bed, made as snug as it smells, it's out, and I'd leapt, and off with me to the slobs, Deotolka, or the plage, o Clontaf, to feel the gay air of my salt troubling bay. And the race of the Sawint of me, I'm sure.